Listen to this. Earlier today, those with a passion for quilting came together to make blankets for babies in the NICU at Blank Children's Hospital. Natalie Painter was there to give us a look at these quilts for cause. Cindy Peters, the owner of a quilt shop in Ankeny, recently started renting out the building next to her store to get people together and sew. Well, we are gathering, we've got about 24 quilters here this morning, um, and we are doing quilts for Blank Children's Hospital for the NICU unit. After one of her customers had a premature granddaughter, they decided to come together and fill this need in the community. So we said, hey, come and sew with us, and we've got kits for them, and we are putting together um, these donation quilts. And we're hoping to do at least 24 today, possibly more of them. Oh, I will finish this one, and I will make another one, but the group, I'm sure, will make, they'll, they'll make several quilts. The shop has donated about 20 quilts already and plans to drop off this batch sometime next week. Once at the hospital, they will be given to families to put on the top of an isolette and then taken home. Peters and her customers find this to be a win-win situation as they love quilting and the feeling of helping others. Our customers love to sew and to give, and so being able to quilt, put something together for a child in need is just extra special. It makes my heart swell. I always say I make with my hands and give from my heart. Aside from helping others, the feeling of being able to quilt together is what drew many to the event. We'd love to actually have you come and join us because that's, it's the whole, the feel of everybody here helping out, not just sitting at home. So we're so thrilled that we're able to gather again. While this is the first big event the shop has hosted, Peters says that she hopes to have more donation events in the near future. In Ankeny, Natalie Painter, WHO 13 News. Well, I'm hoping for the best for her, too. Peters encourages people to check the Quilters Covered Facebook page for more information on donations.